This gun can hit, get clips, yes, but it just does not... It's not worth using, in my honest opinion. I just got a collateral. Oh my gosh, this gun can do something. Triple. I fucked the feed. Armor, are you kidding me? Oh, triple. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are back on Call of Duty Blind Ops Cold War using this gun. Wow! I hate this gun. Like, I have, I recorded for four hours straight using this gun to get audio issues and to only get two good games. And those are the, they're, they're pretty good. You guys are going to see those two games here. Um, so the setup we're rocking obviously is going to be the stabilizer 3.8. A lot of people might run this. I just feel it slows the ADS speed too much. We're also going to be running this because this gun is a hit marker machine. I wish I was lying. I really do. This gun is terrible. You're going to see why. We're also running the soft target designator. Now the reason I'm doing that instead of running something like maybe this or this is due to it not taking away any sprint to fire time. You want all movement speed, shooting movement speed, and everything. You want that. Same with ADS speed. Now this is the only exception I made. The gun reloads for take the gun reloading takes forever, so I ran the nine running the nine round fast mag because you also run out of bullets if you get a hit marker. Also running the airborne elastic wrap, it just makes it so much better. And the raider stock. These are just what I would run. These are what I run on. We're also running police shot. We're played snipers only. I actually ran into my boy Chrome, who's actually I think grinding for a Skatara. I don't know how to say the name. I'm sorry. But we're also running forward until scavenger and ghost. Now if you were to run this gun without gunfighter, like I am which I don't recommend you do. You can take off stabilizer and you can take off this and you'll have your five attachments. Just, you're just gonna want the barrel, the under barrel magazine handle and stock. That's all must. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the video. You guys are gonna see some pretty good clips. You're not gonna see any bad games because all the audio got fucked. Anyway, let's just, let's just get in the video. All right, here we go. Here we go. How? Okay, I gotta figure out what is this ADS speed that's messing up my ADS speed. Something in here is messing up my ADS speed besides the magazine. Something is utterly wrong. I'm running the speed tape to see if that might be it from when I sprint, because the sprint to fire speed is a little messed up. So I just wonder if that's my issue with the ADS speed right now. I gotta say, if I died there, I would be so upset, but so deserved it. Hello. I guess I hit marker you, but you're using the same exact gun, same attachments as me, and you one shot because uh, the depression's setting in. Got him. You were that was in my home. Oh. My state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. I made him leave. I made his ass leave. You know what? This gun might actually be worth it. <laughs> After literally, I have tried to use this gun to get footage all day long. Okay, I have been recording for four hours now, pretty much, trying to get footage. After audio failure, after every game being terrible and me missing every shot, to not get any, like get any decent footage that I you know would want to use in the video. I finally made the one person I hated playing with leave on the other team because he was, I mean, he was cracked out of his mind and I made him leave because I got the feet on him. Oh, that makes me so happy, man. I don't think you guys understand. This gun is the shittiest gun I've ever used. And I'm going to say that. You know, I don't typically say a gun is terrible or shitty. Like, they all serve their purpose. But this gun has no purpose. You're better off running the Tundra or the Pellington. It's, you're still going to want to run the car 98 in Warzone and whatnot because the ADS is better. So this gun's obsolete there. This gun sucks in zombies. Believe me, it really does. It's, you can have the gun double pack a punch and tier like the purple tier or whatever in, on round 15 and you'll still get hit markers. I could have got the fucking collateral. No! So one thing I will say about this gun, right, obviously is because I've had to re-record this segment so many times I'm tired of saying this, but I, it needs to be said. 
It's just not consistent. The gun itself is not consistent enough to be used in any mode. It's just not worth your time or effort. I mean, unless you're one of those players as like a hardcore player, you know, you get every gun, diamond, gold, dark matter, what, etc. And you want to max it out, you know, you want to get a bunch of stuff with it. You're never going to want to run this unless you absolutely are cracked out of your mind. And if you're not the greatest sniper like me, because I'm pretty bad, like I'm, I'm not very good at sniping in this game, you're going to want to run a gun like the Tundra or the Pellington, something that has better one-shot potential than this. It's just not worth your time to use. I, I genuinely think that. I think that's its biggest flaw, is it just doesn't consistently one-shot, even with the plus damage barrel that you're basically required to run if you want any one-shots really at all other than headshots. So, honestly, I'd say if you're good at the game and, you know, whatever, I'd say run it, but if you're average and you're not the greatest at Call of Duty or sniping, stick to a gun that's going to better one-shot people. That way you don't lose your mind like me. Is he really running around meleeing people, dude? Why would you melee me? You have every ch chance to get a fucking one-shot headshot. But it just does not... It's not worth using, in my honest opinion. I just got a collateral. Oh my gosh, this thing can do something. Triple. I fucked the feed. Armor, are you kidding? Okay, so after that game, um, I'm just going to say, the gun isn't all bad, but it's still bad. It just, I think if it had a tiny damage buff, it'd be so much more worth using in my personal opinion. But I feel like your gun, you shouldn't have to run a specific attachment to do plus damage. Nice little clip potential. Him, air patrol ready. Damn, I could not quite get him though. This gun, I think if it just had a tiny damage though, I don't think it needs much. I think maybe just more one-shot potential consistency. Because I understand you don't want to make the gun overly broken, but there's you can hit better, more clips, better clips with the tundra than this, in my opinion. And that's just the truth. I'm 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 not gonna lie, that collateral boosted my mood. So damn much, in all honesty. Yeah, we're about to hit that attack helicopter already? I didn't want to hard scrub you, buddy, but... I feel like I have to some days. Yeah, we're 20 score away from this attack helicopter. Man, that, I'm not gonna lie, that last game boosted my... Oh, triple. Hang on. Imagine! He really just clouded both of us, damn. Okay, I see how it is gonna go, man. What the fuck type of lag spike? A hit marker really game, that's where we're going with this. You know this gun's, it's, it's not all ass, but it's still ass. Yeah, Street Sweeper. Yeah, get it. So, before this video ends, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently. As of right now, I don't know if it's sub but we're at 288 subscribers. We are so close to 300. I definitely think we can hit it soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I put a lot of time into this 
to just make it right the way I wanted it to work, the way the meme edits kind of things, all of this. I worked really, really hard to do that, and I really hope you did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. Go ahead and follow my Twitch down below. The support over there has been unreal as well. We just hit 230 followers not too long ago. And we're also so, so, so close to 30 subscribers over there. We're like two or three or two away from that. You don't have to subscribe over there because it costs money. Over here, it's free, obviously. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.